up, you guys? It's Mary. And I'm Be right. Guys, a like, subscribe, share, and comment down below. Today, you guys, we are talking about day four and day five of the Megan and Tory Lanez trial. Kelsey has been put on the stand. Um, apparently, her I guess the prosecutors had asked the judge if they, they could play the 80 minute statement that she had put out there in September after the shooting had happened. Mm -hmm. At first, they actually the judge actually rejected it mm -hmm. because I guess they're only playing small clips. So they decided to play the whole full 80 minute um, tape because the judge gave them clearance to go ahead and do See, that. She was not which I think coming with inf information. I think she shot herself in the foot. If she yes. was trying to help Wayne get off, I think that because now she they're gonna play that whole, whole September thing. thing. And so. apparently, she was very clear about all that had happened. We're gonna get into that, but I want to get into something that Megan has said at the end of this. Okay. Um, but apparently. According to the report, they kind of stated everything. I felt like felt like the statement basically corroborated what Megan had already told everybody, especially mm -hmm. the whole Gail King interview or whatever. Mm -hmm. And the only thing they hadn't talked about was the dance um, bitch. Okay. I hadn't seen that one. But basically, so they said, this is what Kelsey said on the tape. Mm -hmm. I get out of my side and no so sooner do you know, you start hearing gunshots going off. I looked up maybe about the second or third gunshot you see Tori, he's now in the front seat. I guess he ha he must have jumped over in a smooth transition and he's leaning over the door. He's shooting over the top of the door. He was leaning over the front passenger door and he was shooting the gun. Megan was walking away when this happened, but by the third or fourth shot, she was facing toward us and I would describe it as like a, a deer in headlights look. Wow. So that was part of it and wow. then Oh, mind you, this fool mm -hmm. is bringing his child to court again. Mm -hmm. But that's besides the point. But then they asked if it was, but then they asked her, was it in Megan's direction? Yeah. And Kelsey said, definitely in her direction. Yeah, definitely in her direction. She described fearing for her life. As, mm -hmm. But yes, it said, it asked, was it in Megan's direction? Kelsey said, definitely in her direction, yes. Mm -hmm. And then they said, um, she described feeling, fearing for her life as Tori pulled on her hair and neck because it was really um because it was really hard kelsey is doing all the talking the da's were barely saying anything but wow. i guess what happened was after he had shot megan kelsey was going to go help her and he decided to assault her by pulling her hair and grabbing on her neck and trying Ooh, to kelsey tori oh tori so she was trying to get out the, of the car she was already getting out of the car when he started shooting and okay. then she started walking towards megan to help her when he decided to come and assault her because by then megan was bleeding yes and stuff like that wow yes. so he now pulls her hair yes pulls her down pulls her hair in her neck and pulls her down to the ground uh-huh and that's what happened that's where i was does he hit her i think so okay. i think they said he had punched her or something so when she went to the police did she have bruises or anything yeah they showed her missing nail and stuff like that wow. i don't know if they took pictures or not okay but kelsey talks about getting back into the escalator with megan i guess after the shooting okay and says we didn't have a pushback about getting in the car and okay. didn't even consider calling 911. Mm. lapd officers pulled them over at gunpoint mm -hmm. a minute later and kelsey was jailed and meg was handcuffed in the ambulance so he apparently was able oh, to get Oh, Tori was jailed. No, Kelsey was jailed. I'm so sure Kelsey I'm... also went to jail and Tori, they arrested him. Yes. Okay. Um, and jailed. Megan was handcuffed to an ambulance. So my thing is, I guess I'm shocked that they got back in the car after you have just shot me. But I guess that's probably when he started doing his begging and his pleading. Right. And probably tried to visibly get back in the car. Yeah. The fact that Kelsey said they had not even considered calling 911 black woman syndrome. Okay. Right. Let's so protect the black she, man. Woo! Yeah. So did she? What was I thinking? This some crazy stuff. I would have reported his ass. I don't care. Listen, call me a so snitch. Call me whatever. I you going to jail, buddy? You going yes. down? I don't care what happened. Did she send that? Um, <clears throat> what is it? Did she send the text to the security? Yeah, she when did. When did she do that? When she was in the car? I guess, yeah, I guess this was really. This probably might have happened after Tori. I don't know. I don't want to give false. Allegedly, I don't know. Everything's allegedly. Maybe after they got in the car, then she said, let me put this phone in and contact them. Quickly. Help. Because apparently, it yeah. wasn't Megan's car. They were in Tory Lane's car, and it was his driver. 
So she didn't have her security with her, for real, for real. Now I wonder if the driver has been paid off, and how is he going to Where, be? Why aren't we talking about the driver? Where the hell is the driver? Because you have Kelsey yes, here, who I has mean, probably been bribed or threatened, who is going back and forth mm -hmm. like a sinner in church, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden you can't remember stuff. I'm mm -hmm. so happy they played the 80 minute tape or whatever, mm -hmm. but there's some, there's some incrimination as well. But okay. they said um, the DNA. They said okay. that his DNA, the prosecutors, said that his DNA was inconclusive on the gun. But the okay. defense said that there was no male DNA on it. They on said, the matter of fact, it was a woman's DNA. That was on the gun. Yes. Okay. So my thing is, I guess they said they also had not tested Kelsey at the time to see if it was her DNA or not. Okay. But my thing is, I don't, I don't, you said maybe he whipped out gloves or something. I, I feel like the defense is lying. I think the process, I think it was, Inconclusive DNA. That's what I'm okay. most likely thinking. If there, he did with the, the gloves. Okay. There are two things that I'm wondering now. Did the police do a thorough search of the car? And did the gun that they got out, did the bullets match the ones that were in Megan's leg? Right? Mm -hmm. I wonder about that. Then, um, the other thing was, there was something else I was thinking about. So she may have done the note. Oh yes, the other thing I was thinking about was this, the glove. Because if his DNA was not on the glove, say the gun is the gun that shot Megan. Because mm -hmm. right now they still have to tell us that or not. If he was wearing gloves, because for someone who goes, I know they took a video at Kylie Jenner's place. Was he wearing gloves then or not? No, he was not. Okay. That man was shirtless. I know he was shirtless. I didn't see him wearing gloves. But I just want to, I wonder if he had gloves on. That's something to check. But if he put on gloves while he was, when he got in the car, so that his DNA is not on the glove, on the gun, mm -hmm. if he had put on gloves, then to me, that is an intention. Yeah. You had an intention to shoot somebody. To shoot someone. Now, there was a story going around that Megan, um, before they actually got to the car, they had been arguing. Right. She and Tori going back and forth because she had said something about his music. So if he had gone to the car, put on his gloves with the intention to shoot. Yes. To shoot her, but I'm gonna put on this glove first, and that would show like that intention. Yes, that he had an intention to harm her. Yes, you know what I'm saying. Yes, now that will carry some weight. Yeah, if the jury, the jurors find him guilty of this. Yes. So, but there's also something else because I know mm. Megan's sexual history has been on display, mm. but mm. um. They were talking about it, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, and this is what um, Megan Kunis, which is, a, I guess I guess she is a lawyer or something. Okay. We saw her on Law and Crime. That lady with the short bob. Yeah, lady, yeah. This is on her Twitter account that okay. she was giving updates about the whole thing. Okay. She said, Kelsey tells prosecutors about Tori saying something about Meg needing to tell her the truth. And Kelsey was confused. She tells prosecutors that Meg said something like, Kelsey, don't listen. He's trying to make you mad. Yeah. Next thing you know, the argument began with Tori and Meg. Tori calls Meg the B word and um, bitches and hoes, basically. Okay. And Kelsey told prosecutors, I stepped in and I said, you know you're not going to talk to my friend like that. Right. And then Kelsey also told prosecutors, honestly, when I argue, I just kind of say things that are hurtful too. Yeah. She talked about Lane threatening to shoot her saying she told him, if you shoot me, you shoot me. I guess it's my time to go. And the argument, then the argument turned to artsy. Okay. So, but uh, apparently she had also said that when they were arguing in the car, if she said it really had nothing to do with their, it, they, uh, she actually didn't even mention the sexual history. She mm -hmm. said the reason why Meg and Tori were arguing was because of an argument that they were having about his music and how I guess Megan has said she's, that he's washed up. Okay. So that goes back to corroborate yes. Megan's story. Mm -hmm. The original statement she had in September, mm -hmm. that's what I'm thinking. Okay. Because right now she's been bribed or threatened. She, she needs to be off stand. Like yeah. she's useless at this yeah. point. But I'm Especially glad that if you already have the September. Yes, 
the thing you really didn't need to be there so, yeah so i just feel like everything that kelsey was saying in september really just lined up with what megan is saying mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like from the gail king interview and everything stuff like that yeah. so i just felt like and what megan you know, also said in september yeah she said i mean yes i mean even if Kelsey was messing with Tory Lanez or whatever at the time. Mm -hmm. We, I think we both said that when Megan was on Gail King's thing, she chuckled. Yeah. They probably had one sexual encounter. Maybe it was a, a night they were a little too tipsy or whatever, some of that. They both had to, nothing to write home about. Yes. And That's they, why she was kind of laughing embarrassed. I mean, if you see that picture of him with his hands up like this behind her, I mean, the man has Napoleon Syndrome. Yeah. He was there putting his little weenie on her bottom or whatever, stuff like that. But I just feel, and I mean, she was just like, hmm. And mm -hmm. then, like, after it, you saw a photo of them laughing, walking away, kind of like in a joking thing or whatever. Yeah. But they had connected over their moms both dying. Yeah. Mind you, Megan is an only child. Her mm -hmm. mom and her father are dead. Yeah. And she's hanging around these people who really don't wish her well. Mm -hmm. I doubt she has any like serious, intimate family that act, immediate family that really loves her and, and are there for her. So she's yeah. here making all these bad decisions. Yeah. And she's here connecting with a man who is illogical. Like this man has beat up August Alcinia. Mm -hmm. He, I mean, August Alcinia was in an elevator all bloody, like in the corner, wow. sitting on the floor. So he still has to solve that case. Then he went and beat up that loving hip hop star named Prince. He went and paid him off, so they settled it out of court. Mm. But this is somebody who is known to be violent. And yeah. we all know how short men sometimes have mm. that Napoleon syndrome. Men, short men who are insecure. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But that's just my whole thing about it. I just yeah. feel like, I feel like Kelsey's lying. She's not reliable. Yeah. I feel like the statement she made in September is truthful. Yeah. I feel like the whole gun thing, I think it's inconclusive. I think they have probably paid the defense to mm. try to say that there's no male DNA on it at all. But I don't believe that he is just inconclusive. Because they yeah. said it's inconclusive and they said there's no male DNA. Yeah. How they didn't get DNA on it, I'm not sure well, how. The, 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 well, I don't the think prosecutor, maybe... the, the defense really doesn't have to give a anything to the prosecutor because it's the prosecutor's case. They're the ones who have to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that Tony Lanes is guilty. Yeah. So they don't have to be forthcoming about nothing. You know, they really don't. And I mean, also yeah. that whole thing, do, do you promise not to lie under oath? There's no way you can prove that person not going to lie under oath. Well, the thing I mean, is, unless the thing there's evidence though, to prove that they're lying. I mean, yeah, but, but then the thing is, on. though, if they find that you did lie under oath, you go into jail, then buddy. It's a problem. Clank, clank. But um, you were saying something that Megan was saying that she didn't. You were yes, saying. let's talk about that. this statement, which I am actually quite disgusted by. Yeah. Um, Megan talked about. Her boyfriend, mm -hmm. Partisan Fontaine. Um, I Who never has knew. Not been, you said you I have not seen, seen him at the trial. I have I not mean, seen him go in seen with him her. Let us know. But yes. From I, what I've, I haven't seen any. No, I have not seen him at all. Um, so I don't know what's going on there. But it seemed like they had broken up a couple of times because there was a, there was like a couple of times that she had deleted all of his pictures from her stuff. Okay. Or whatever. And they've been dating for two years. And she had also stated on their second year anniversary mm -hmm. that somebody saw a ring on her finger. She said, no, we are not engaged yet. But thank you guys for hoping or wishing for that or whatever. Oh, okay. So that's my thing. I don't know about that whole relationship. I really did not know Partisan until he was with Megan. Yeah. I knew he had one song, I think. And I remember saying that oh, man is fine. Too? No, he's a rapper. Oh, boy. I remember saying that he is fine when he had that song out with Cardi. But that mm -hmm. was literally it. I never remember the guy's name. Mm -hmm. It was only when I found out that he was with Megan that I started looking to his music. Okay. But she was talking about him, mm -hmm. and she was on the scene or whatever, and talking about this whole incident. And she says, I feel disgusted. I feel dirty. My own partner, Cardi, is embarrassed. Megan said of Fontaine having to see the continued coverage of her sexual history. She said, in an effort to avoid talking about the alleged shooting, I can't even be happy. Mm -hmm. I don't want to talk to friends or family. Mm -hmm. I don't want to live, she said, loud but emotional. Yeah. I wish he had just shot and killed me okay. if I had to go through this torture. Hmm. You're embarrassed. That's what I want. You're embarrassed. You're about embarrassed her about her history. sexual history. All, don't you have a baby mother? Like, don't you have kids outside of yes? Oh, don't you have kids outside of Megan? Uh, Megan doesn't even have a child. Like, I, like this is 
why this is how I know this man ain't shit. No. He is not her partner. No. She is still in this place in her life where she's letting in people that really don't mean her well. No. But she's in this world alone. She no. has no family. She has nobody. Mm -hmm. She's with this dust ball of a man who I know is worth half of what she is. Yeah. And you're here talking about you're embarrassed because you have to hear the sexual history. So now you're not even going to court. You're embarrassed? Yeah. If this is a woman that you love, you as a man put all your big draws. Yes. You take your cojones. Yes. You go, you support your woman, yeah. and you're there for her. Yeah. You love her. You respect her. You're there for her. She could have died. Exactly. That doesn't matter to you. You're mm. worried about her sexual history being out there. Mm. She is Megan Thee Stallion. She mostly talks about sex. So now you're embarrassed about sexual history with some oompa loompa? That's what you're worried about? What? He's I'm trying to find that box to put her in like, so that she can be grateful when he's acting the fool or when he's cheating. He can say, baby, I have had a problem with your sexual history. The bottom line is this. Megan is a huge star. She's a Grammy winner. Three times grand, three over, time grand, right? Yes. And everyone knows, like, if she is, if she is with, going out with somebody, having sex with someone, or whatever, the world knows. Everyone knows. So it's not like you do not know about Megan and who she has been with before you met her. You know what I'm saying? And obviously, you also have a sexual history because you have a baby mama. Okay. Yes. So you're not in front of a court. This thing happened to you, and you are not that great in the rap game. So obviously, not, nobody no. really cares who you're dating. Oh, because she Kenya had a better career than you did. Because she's up there in her career. That's why women, I always say, do not date men below your in the same career as you, and they are not successful, and you are. It's not going to work. So they're going to be in competition with you and they can be the worst and vilest of enemies. Yes. Don't do it. Yes. Okay? And you're slut shaming her. So you're probably slut shaming exactly her. That's what doing. And what makes me sad is her to feel my embarrassed. Heart, that she has, she has to mention that you're Everyone embarrassed. Everyone has a history. Yeah. It's, you're not the only one. Yeah. But it's like the misogyny for me. Yeah. You know, like... If it's a man, ain't nobody care about his sexual history. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't care about his sexual history. He's not embarrassed about it. In fact, they're going to give him a pat on the back. But yeah. when it comes to a woman, all of a sudden, you all have all these standards. And they're such big hypocrites yeah. that you can't see beyond your Pinocchio nose. Yeah. And just the fact that he wouldn't even bother to come to the court. Girl, I know you're going through some things, but you better go see a therapist. And wrap that shit up. And you need to just... At this point, you have to really... You really need to heal in order to get... Bring that the right kind of people... Your way. Your way. People who don't care about who you are. They don't yeah. care about your status. They don't care about your money. They, they're not there asking you for any favors. Like a Gail King to your Oprah. Yeah, just someone who is just a good friend. Yeah. And just there for you. And that's it. Do you know what I'm saying? What really like you, you guys are there for each other, but it, it makes me feel sad because she's by herself. What really breaks my heart is that she does. She can't even go to her man when this whole court thing is over and just cry on his shoulder, cry on his chest, and be like, "This is so hard," or whatever. I just spill out her guts to her man, mm -hmm. and him just be there and hold her and call on her him. and be like, "Baby, it's okay." Mm -hmm. He's probably saying, "Man, you gotta go to court again today." I mean, this is just embarrassing, Megan. This is just embarrassing, Megan. Mm -hmm. like, I can't believe you put yourself in this situation. Did all that? Probably slut shaming her. They're probably there believing that this is some and sexual then, thing. Yeah, and then asking her. So what did you do with that guy? Tell me everything, what went on. And women, I have said to you many times. Don't tell a do man not nothing about your past. And tell any man about your past. In fact, a soul your man sexual history you about your past. Red flag. It's time to go. It's over. Because the reason why they're asking, they're so not throw it asking. In your face. It, thank you. That's all Just, they're asking for. For ammunition for later. Yes. For ammunition when they're cheating. So they can throw that in your face. Like I really and not really quite gotten over. How you, know, you, what you mess with his whatever. Movie and the other When something happens, happens like, I can see why so and so you all are not together because he strikes me to be an easygoing guy and you are you know, that's why they're asking you. They're not asking for anything else but that. Yeah. So keep your business to yourself. You wanna confess your man is not God. 
you go to God and you confess and you leave it there. You know what? There was somebody, I can't, I think it was Ayala, but she mm-hmm. says, you know, sometimes when you have something that you're holding on to, tell it to a bowl of water and you pour it out. Yes. Or no, you, no, it was a bowl it was of water. Shola. It was Shola. Shola. It was Shola. Shola. Yes, shout out to Shola. 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 But you Shola tell it to the water yeah. and then you pour it out. She does pour something else. She buries it. Ayala buries it in the earth. Yes, you write it down and you bury it in the earth. Yeah. That's you, what or, you do. Or you can give it. I did. Or you burn it. I would like to burn it. I don't yeah. want to bury it because it's still there. Or you do like what I did with your brother. Take him out to the tree. Yeah. And let him hold the tree. Like hold a piece of nature. Yeah. And give it to them. They yeah. know what to do with it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They're not affected by it. And, and you know, you know, when I took to the tree, he was like, I should just spill your guts to the tree. Why she was like, Should I have some privacy? <laughs> <laughs> and that's how he looked at me like I am not you're not standing here while I'm holding this tree. Yeah, I'm telling you the tree, not you. Right. <laughs> but yes, y'all, that was our review yeah. of the case. We are still gonna follow this until his ass is put put guilty or Ooh. Kelsey's put guilty, because as far as I'm concerned, show her underneath the jail as well. So but, so after this one, I will give the prosecutor, remember I am one for prosecutor, one for defense. So after this this one with the the revelation of what was told in September, I'm gonna give the prosecutor two and defense one. I'm and giving the prosecutor three and I'm giving the defense a negative three hundred. Okay. Well yes. it started at zero. So it keeps on going down zero. and down and down and down and down with me into the negative numbers. <laughs> so you guys tell us, hey, what is your score so far? Yes for this case. But it's Mary. Um, uh, you watch this like, subscribe, share, and comment down below.